But yeah, these eggs were definitely getting devoured. This one over here, you can see it's already leaking. The bugs already uh, found a way in. Um, so let's go ahead and get these guys taken care of. <gasps> oh my god, you guys. You guys see that? listen <laughs> hey guys what up welcome back to another video okay so you guys remember this right grumpy turtle the grumpiest turtle in the world Penelope girl you better not bite me I'm way too close to her <laughs> this is Penelope she is my big female slider it's impossible to film with her ow scratching ow turtles have really long claws Okay, are, are we chill now? You gonna relax? Uh, close it. No, close it. Thank you, I love you. Oh no, I would not dare kiss her. <laughs> Tangled all my hair. Tangled in my hair, okay. We're, we're having difficulties here. Give me a second. You guys see him, he's like, what is going on? And you guys can't see right here, but here's another cat freaking out about the turtle noises. So, like I was saying, this is Penelope. She's my big female slider. I've had her for years and years. For those of you that are new here and don't know, she is like not really tame, despite my taming efforts. Like we just haven't really gotten anywhere. I mean, I guess this is kind of tame. Not really, no, I take that back. Um, yeah, I've tried taming her. I've tried spending time. I've, I've tried it all, but um, it's just really stressful on her. I'd rather like let her live her life. I don't mind, you know. I have Tito. He's like extra tame, so he makes up for the fact that she's not tame like at all. So it's cool. hurt you child who hurt you it wasn't me <laughs> i feel bad for laughing at this but it's kind of funny <laughs> all right i think we're done we're done snapping at the air like what did the air do to you oh <laughs> uh, nope and we're back so I've shown you guys their outdoor setup. That's like their official setup, like where they spend, you know, a lot of their time. But I do let them free roam the backyard so that they get like plenty of exercise and just so that they can enjoy themselves. So I noticed her digging once and I knew that she laid a clutch of eggs. I saw her doing it that one time and I knew where the nest was and I just figured I would leave the eggs there and just you know let them develop naturally because i actually didn't have an incubator on hand the one that i had that i showed you guys how to make that i made myself i gave that one away to someone that needed it like asap so i didn't have an incubator so i i, I where are you going and i just figured like i'll just i'll just let the eggs develop naturally yeah i was aware of that nest and where that was and everything so apparently penelope made two separate nests and this is something that I've seen her do before. First of all, she's so picky. She makes like 30 different nests. I'm not even exaggerating. I wish I was, but no. If she feels like a small pebble in there, if something scares her or anything, she'll stop and look for somewhere else to nest. Sometimes she'll dig like a full on nest and other times she just like barely gets any digging done sometimes she makes a full nest and she'll lay like one or two eggs and cover it back up and then the next day she'll start showing behavior of wanting to nest i know when she wants to lay eggs because she won't eat and she'll be very restless and will just keep trying to break out of her enclosure and like I, I know the signs. So when I see her like that, I let her out and yeah, right away she starts digging a nest. So I saw her like that and I saw her lay that other nest. But I didn't actually know that she had another nest that she laid eggs in. So that's where these little guys came from. And that's probably why there's only two of them and I didn't find any more turtles because uh, it was one of her 
but unfortunately what I did see was the nest that I saw her lay partially uncovered and that's due to all the rain that we've had here lately and then I saw that there was a lot of bugs which meant that they're getting into the eggs you know the bugs are eating the eggs and like as soon as I saw that I knew I had to get the eggs out of there so I started digging up the nest which wasn't really hard because it was already partially uncovered yeah here's what happened so here's the partially uncovered turtle nest you can see some of the eggs there sticking out almost at the top this very first egg that I pulled out is already empty basically the bugs already ate the embryo that was developing inside and they ate its yolk sac they ate everything so what I'm doing is I'm taking like small little ew you can see a bug there uh, so what I'm doing is I'm taking like tiny little pinches of like dirt so that I can pull out the eggs easier. You know, I don't want to accidentally rip them or anything. I'd rather take my time. And you guys, I was at this for a while. I was on my knees leaning over doing this for like almost an hour, but I don't really mind. So the thing with reptile eggs is unlike chicken eggs, you should by no means turn them. That's why you can see here that I get a hold of them and I don't turn my hand. That's because there's an air bubble developed at the very top and that's how the embryos developing inside can breathe so if you turn the egg then they will basically drown so as i'm pulling out the eggs from this nest i'm setting them in the ground next to me but in the same exact position that they were inside of the nest which is kind of tricky because some of these were laying kind of flat while others were more slanted and at an angle and in the end all the other eggs that i pulled out i think were all okay except for one so here's all the eggs that i was able to get a hold of and i don't know i think i think they should be all right so i'm gonna have to set up a incubator so that they can finish developing and hopefully if everything goes right um they'll hatch but yeah these eggs were definitely getting devoured this one over here they're in the process of it you can see it's already leaking the bugs already uh found a way in there's worms in there and if i open this up it's probably full of bugs but uh i don't want to see them eat a baby turtle so i'm not gonna open it i'm actually gonna bury it back up and just let nature take its course same with this one even though it's already empty um, you know, yeah. So let's go ahead and get these guys taken care of. So because I didn't have my incubator in hand, I had to make another one. So here's how I did that.
this incubator is different from the one that I showed you guys how to make but it's it's very similar I mean not really the only differences are there's a viewing glass and I'm not using a heater I'm gonna be incubating the eggs at whatever temperature is outside I'm gonna be incubating them outside because that's the temperature that they've been developing in up until now so it really doesn't make any sense for me to artificially do things especially when outside is like perfect nature will be my incubator I guess you can say <laughs> So what I'm doing now is I'm sterilizing some soil just I'm making sure there's no little critters on there. So once the soil had completely cooled down, it dried out a lot actually. So I added a little bit of water at a time until I reached this consistency. So what you're looking for is the soil should still kind of crumble apart. But if you squeeze it in your hand, then no water should drip out of the bottom, yet it should still hold its shape. So here's the container that I'm going to be putting the eggs in. I added about an inch and a half or two of the soil and now to put the eggs in. So I'm making little dents with my fingers so that the eggs kind of have somewhere to sit on so they won't accidentally roll over. And I'm starting out with like the easier to position eggs which is the ones that are laying down flat. Then I kind of got into the harder ones which is the ones that are like at an angle. And you guys already know the same angle that they were in the nest is the same angle that they need to be sitting on in here also i kind of used the other ones that i had already put in there as like support and yeah here they all are in the end i counted 13 of them but i don't actually know yet if all 13 are fertile or not all right so here's the incubator i'm just gonna set it here i'm gonna have it here next to the turtle setups and little ones enclosure oh there's little one hey you want to say hi oh she's going back in the cave okay doesn't want to say hi so i'm gonna be placing this really old brick in the bottom as a base and I'm gonna add uh, this much water ta-da that'll do and now we're gonna very carefully add the eggs inside right in the center just like that now we place the lid and that's pretty much it now we just wait and hopefully everything goes right and these little guys make it into the world so this is a lot of eggs i kind of candled some of them and i saw a vessel so there's some that are fertile i actually saw some of the turtles like wiggling in there they're really tiny and they're really cute and that makes me excited for what's to come all right you guys so it's been a week since that happened and i'm a little nervous but i'm gonna go ahead and candle the eggs i'm kind of worried because um you know they were developing underground and they've been there for a while maybe moving them from the ground to a incubator could have been like really stressful for them i don't know to be honest i'm terrified that maybe there's no more movement um so i'm gonna go ahead and candle them and hopefully everything is still going well i'm keeping my fingers crossed for a good result i'm just gonna use my phone <laughs> okay this one there's still vessels those were already there what i'm looking for now is just movement an embryo oh my god you guys you guys see that i see movement they're alive oh my god you guys i'm getting like emotional i don't know why just seeing something alive like before it hatches it's just like a very overwhelming feeling i can't really describe it okay i'm excited i'm happy about candling the rest this one's kind of really dirty so i don't think we'll be able to see much okay that one still looks good this one whoa it's got really good vessels you guys see that oh my god <laughs> You guys, they're alive. They're in there and they're doing good. <laughs> well, this just makes it like all so worth it. Like all the trouble. It's like, you guys, this is why I do what I do. I'm gonna stop now because I don't wanna like stress out the embryos with the bright light. You guys, I'm like so happy. Like I, my night has been made. I'm super excited now about the babies hatching. So someone asked me to go live like when they start hatching and I promise you guys that as soon as I see the first one trying to hatch, I will go live and hopefully we will all get to welcome the first one into the world together. And yes, that's one of my cats using the litter box. 
every time I film. Every time. Um, there's two questions that I think I need to address. In the last video where I found Tiny and the other turtle, someone asked me why I breed my turtles if there's already so many turtles out there and in bad homes and in everything. So the answer to that is that I don't. I don't breed my turtles. The last time that I bred my turtles, I can tell you exactly when was the last time that I bred my turtles. This was the last time that I bred my turtles. So it was around March of last year. I let them breed that one time for educational purposes. Ever since then, I haven't even allowed them in like the same enclosure. Mostly because they don't get along and Penelope and Tito will like fight to death if I allow it. So yeah. But it's been more than a year and Penelope is still laying fertile eggs. And that's because turtles can actually hold sperm for years. I've heard that they can hold sperm for up to five years. And I keep the eggs because I like baby turtles. I like hatching out baby turtles. And I know that I'm not always going to be doing this. So while it's happening to me now, I'm just enjoying it. And the other comment, and actually other people have been commenting this also. They were asking me why I was taking wild turtles from their habitat. Or asking why I couldn't just leave them in their natural habitat and let them be. And wow. Um, yeah, I wouldn't call my backyard in the city the wild. And I don't have like a stream or a pond or a lake. And after they emerge from the nest, baby turtles need to find a body of water to live in. So if I didn't take them from my backyard, they would have died of dehydration within days. And those aren't wild turtles. They are the offspring of my pet turtles which are not a native species to hear and it would be incredibly irresponsible of me to release them into the wild so yeah i hope that kind of helped clear things up and <laughs> yeah so i guess we have reached the end of this video thank you guys so much for watching and for tuning in if you have any video requests comments concerns questions let me know down below and i will answer and if you like this t-shirt then you guys know where to get it you can find it in my online store and yeah so i'll talk to you guys in the next video have a good day or a good night and i love you guys bye